Good morning, everyone. It's Brittany Hopkins with Maybaum Real Estate. It has been a while since I have done a drive-through of Whispering Pines. I used to do them all the time in phase one and phase two. Phase three got so slammed with selling 117 homes in about nine months. And as I was driving through this phase earlier, I just thought, you know what? How nice would it be if I drove through for prospective homeowners that are looking to phase four, five, and six. So why not? Today's a great day, let's do it. What I just came around was our roundabout. I came through the main portion of the roundabout where our painted brick white wall, which we love, um, is right there in each different section of the roundabout. I'm gonna zoom in right there. Um, we call them impact zones. And so there's one at every entrance to each phase. And our landscaping team is gonna do uh, more seasonal flowers, up lighting that's coming soon. We're very excited about that. As always, we have things planned. So let's go ahead and enter into, oops, it's really hard to drive and look. So let's go ahead and enter into phase three. I'm hoping that you guys can still hear me with all of the wind. So I'm going to do my best not to cut off the video and kind of just literally keep it streaming the entire time. Um, so as I'm going into phase three, you see a couple homeowners walking their dogs. It's a little foggy on this October day, but it feels great. I will take this over the rain. I'm entering the estates. The estates are 70 feet in width. Each lot's depth changes per the lot. To the right over here in front of my car, if I was to take a right right there, that would be the garden section. So I'm going to continue straight through the estates. What our development team likes to do is they like to enter our homes that are a higher price point to allow a really good visual effect. It not only has great curb appeal, it allows us to go seamlessly from one phase to the next or one, one section to the next, if you will but it just looks really good. And I'm gonna pause here. If I was to take a right right here, I would be entering Thrasher Trail, which is our cottage. All right, what I just said is that if I took a right on that street, I would be entering the cottage section. Right here we have um, a path that goes directly to the amenity area, the pool, your mailboxes for phase three, four, five, and six. And of course, we strongly, strongly believe in interconnectivity in the neighborhood of Whispering Pines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue from the estates. We have a nice buffer, green space, that we like to keep between each section. It allows a very nice transition. So not only the size of the homes, but also the size of the lots and transition pieces like green spaces and buffers that are great. So as I am driving down this street, which is still Whispering Pines Way, I am currently in the ridges section. Here's a friend right there. Hello. Good morning. And so that was one of my past clients. I adore them, just like I do all of my clients and customers. So as I'm continuing down the ridges, you're going to see a couple homes that are three-car garage plans. I like to mention those because any car garage floor plan is very, very home site specific. Home site specific. Hello, say that three times. Again, pausing right over here. We have a crosswalk walk right over here that I'm going over. That path, that trail directly goes back behind phase two, the basement homes. If you were to take a right, if you were to take a left, it then takes you back to the parkway and then connects back to another trail that goes to your pool amenity. Now, a lot of folks ask me if the pool amenity is only for Whisper Pines. The answer to that question is yes. Only for the residents, aka homeowners of this specific neighborhood. That is how it's set up. A lot of folks also ask me if it's large enough to sustain the amount of homeowners we're going to have. The answer to that question is yes. Um, of our six phases, which we are currently driving through phase three, and as you can tell from my video, every single home site is sold and lived in, which is amazing, which is one reason I prompted myself to do this video. But yes, the pool is very sufficient in size. Um, you know, we actually have 660 home sites between the six phases and that pool can do well over 1200. So what I'm doing now is I'm slowing down because I want to see this future amenity that will be opening this 
month, the month of October in 2020. Just looks like a gravel road, right? But what you guys don't know is I have signs that will be going in right over here. And that gravel road leads back to my pet project, which are the gardens of Whispering Pines. So between this home site, which starts the cottage section, is a gravel road between the last home that's in the ridges. And as you can see, just like in anything else, we have another buffer to my right that separates the ridges from the cottages. Again, a seamless, seamless transition makes it look nice and who doesn't love trees? So when you go down there, everybody stay tuned. You will see an amenity that's nice, tucked away. It's only for the Woods Room Pines homeowners. It's first come, first serve. And we will be giving a grand introduction for that in the next couple of days. So I'm entering the cottage section. And like I said in numerous other videos, each one of our sections, gosh, bravo, y'all, your Halloween decorations look amazing. I love it. So talk about homeowners, American flags, the election's coming up. I'm seeing American flags everywhere. We have folks supporting their favorite football team, of course. I just love it. So what I'm going to do is take a right onto Thrasher Trail. I'm coming in the other direction. And... If I stayed straight, we would automatically go into the gardens. What I'm doing now is I'm turning down into the actual cottage section of our home, off the first cottage section. Now, I'll tell you, the home sites in here are 60 feet in width. The depth changes per home site. All right, I want to give you a quick little view to the right. Now, I'm going to go back and pan to the left. It's a little hard to operate talking a phone video and driving. Thank goodness nobody's on the road right now. So this section is our 60 foot width home sites called the cottages. Every depth is a little bit different if you see trees behind these homes. Again, we love our trees. We love our green space. Look over the gables and the rooftops. Those, even if it's a sliver, it's still a buffer and it's still so nice. So you're not seeing rooftop after rooftop after rooftop like you're doing in a lot of neighborhoods that are masqueraded. And again, there is the cross block that goes from over the ridges through the cottages. This will directly cross to this path that goes from the cottages back over to the gardens. So again, interconnectivity. If all of you have followed this video from second one, great. If not, I wanted to mention that again. This section is 20, 2,200 square feet to 2,699. So yes, we have square footage parameters as well as price point parameters that all three of our builders um, do have to follow. Why? Because that maintains your property value. You want to know why phase one and phase two are reselling so, so well and those folks are moving back to phase three, possibly four, or other neighborhoods if that is so their preference. It's because we have maintained your property value. We are strict on prices, strict on things um, like the exterior of your homes. As you pass all of these homes, no matter the price or the section, you're seeing that it's all hardy board. We do not allow any vinyl in this neighborhood. That is for a reason, price specific and it protects property value. So what I did is I came off of Thrasher Trail and I took a left back onto Whispering Pines Way. This is the estates again. This is what you drive into off of the roundabout. This is showing you the opposite side of the first video when I came in. I love that white house. Um, now, as I take a left right here, I'm taking a left onto Preservation Circle. Now, this is our garden section. Now, don't worry, that is, that is our, our friendly neighbors are putting in a pool, I believe. So they have um, a little bit of mud going down. That is to be expected and the roads will be cleaned accordingly. But that is because a homeowner is doing something that they love. Now, I'm entering the garden section. What I love most are buffers, trees, privacy, green space. Here's another example of the buffer between the back of the estates leading into our gardens. Now again, the trees are a big thing. The developer requires that all our street trees, which I'm zooming in on, are what's called a nut all oak. Why do you have to have a specific tr street tree? Well, we require it because it breaks up the homes. It allows a phenomenal curb appeal. Look at that. And if I dr if you drive you back through phase two or even one, you're gonna see how much these street trees 
grow in such little time. It just gives a phenomenal feel to the neighborhood as a whole. Panning over there to the right, this is the gardens. So our gardens homes range from 1,600 square feet on up to $21.99. So like I said in the cottages, they start at $2,200. That's because the square footage parameters of the gardens are $1,600 to $21.99. Then I'm gonna go up to the cottages, which are $2,200 to $2,699. Then I go to the ridges, which will start off at $2,700 and go on up as high as it needs to to suffice a home, whether it's on slab, crawl space, or basement, crosswalk, walk, still driving through the gardens of Whispering Pines. Isn't it beautiful? I know that this is like my fourth child. I know that. Sorry, my hand dropped a little bit, but thank you. Thank you to all of my homeowners for making this neighborhood that what it is, a neighborhood full of families, full of people that care about their community, their yards, um, their neighbors. I just love it. I love, love, love what you guys are doing, will do, and uh, from the bottom of my heart, my sales team heart, the development team's heart, thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. What I'm doing now is I am driving out of the cottages. I'll be entering the ridges, just going back to basically where I came from. I do need to slow down. Hello? I do need to slow down just a tad so the wind is not making it as hard to hear me as I, I think it is. You can see street lights are in. You can see that everyone's grass is looking so good. We have a very strong HOA. Our homeowners association is run by Rebecca Chase. Any questions you have at all about the amenities, um, HOA concerns, questions, you can refer to our Chase at associationlinks.net. Rebecca Chase, she will be your direct point of contact. Well guys, I know this is a long, long video. I took a couple different videos and I combined it into one. It's been a while since I have done a drive-through. There's no cars in the street. Everybody's at work, kiddos are at school. Decorations for Halloween are on point. It's a foggy yet beautiful day in October. And I thought for all of you that currently live in the neighborhood, thank you for making it so amazing and highly sought after, if not the uh, top selling neighborhood in Columbia County. And for all of you that are looking to move to Augusta, Georgia, Evans, whether you're relocating, starting over, retiring, closer to family or friends, this is the neighborhood for you. Myself, Brittany Hopkins with Maybaum Real Estate, Bo Hopkins with Maybaum Real Estate, and Ben Parrish with Maybaum Real Estate. We are the gurus out here. If you would love the opportunity to um, get in touch with any of us, please, please, please feel free to reach out. Our numbers are all over the website, Facebook, Instagram. My personal cell number is 706-631-1983. You can visit us on our neighborhood website at whisperingpines-ga.com. Brittany Sells with an S, Augusta.com. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to YouTube. We are here to answer any of your questions that you may have. No one knows this neighborhood or our builders like Brittany, but and Ben. Any questions, give us a call. Thank you for watching the video. Share with everybody you know. We cannot wait for you to call Whispering Pines Hubs.